push buttons are everywhere, but do they work the way you think they work? Do you think when you press that button, you're able to cross the street faster? Uh, yes, I do think that. Is that not true? I think by pressing that button, you'll be able to cross the street faster. I have an answer. I think no. <laughs> My name's Linda Lee. I work for the City of Toronto at the Traffic Management Center. If I'm in a hurry and I hammer this button over and over again, yeah. is it going to help me cross the street faster or change the light? No. The signals actually cycle from Main Street to Side Street automatically. Uh, no need to push the button to actually do that at this location. So it's on a timer, on a clock. So if you're on a busy road, pressing this won't help. So why is it here anyway? but this button here actually uh, provides accessibility features. So the sound you're hearing now is what we call a locator tone, mm -hmm. and when they can locate the button, they can actually activate what we call an APS, which is an accessible pedestrian signal. You actually have to hold on to it for three seconds or more, and that will actually trigger an audible and tactile tone to come on. So basically, this is the audible tone. It's a, a cuckoo tone, and cuckoo is basically the sound you would hear if you're traveling north-south. But if you're going east-west, the sound would be a chirp sound. So it kind of gives you an audible tone that if people heard it, they know kind of what direction you're traveling in. So for all of you in a rush, there is a time when the button will help. It's when a busy street meets a not-so-busy street. You actually have to press the button. Otherwise, you could be stuck waiting here all day or at least until a car comes and triggers a sensor in the road.